we are discussing the management of the gestational hypertension and um, in the important point in the uh, nice guideline not only about the management of the gestational hypertension but also about the assessment and treatment of the gestational hypertension so in the management of the gestational hypertension uh, there are few important facts which uh, we need to cover and uh, those are what we are discussing here and we will also discuss the uh, certain risk factors which um, uh, we need to consider while managing a patient with the gestational hypertension. So you can see here the secondary health healthcare setting and uh, in the secondary healthcare settings we have uh, uh, the well organized operation theater and each and every facilities in the secondary health care settings and uh, there are trained professionals okay the trained professionals uh, who can manage the case of gestation hypertension at any stage mean at any stage of the complication um, means uh, it should be managed in there okay in women with gestation hypertension full assessment should be carried out in secondary healthcare setting by the healthcare professional who is trained in the management of hypertensive disorder of pregnancy and in the women with gestation hypertension take into account the following risk factors okay nulli parity age 40 years or older pregnancy interval of 20 years uh, or pregnancy interval of more than 10 years family history of the preeclampsia okay um, and the multifetal pregnancy, BMI of 35 kg per meter square or more, gestational age representation, previous history of preeclampsia, gestational hypertension, pre existing vascular disease, pre existing kidney disease. Okay. So these are the important things and uh, offer the woman with gestational hypertension the test and the treatment listing in the table. Okay, so in the table, uh, we divide the hypertension into two main categories according to the new guideline that is the hypertension and severe hypertension. Hypertension is when the blood pressure is 140 by 90. Okay, and severe blood, uh, hypertension is more than 160 by 100. Okay, so if we talk about just the hypertension, then the BP would be 140 by 90 up to 159 by 109 that is the uh, just the hypertension okay if we talk about the severe hypertension we have the blood pressure of more than 160 by 100 so basically we have these two degrees these two categories uh, and we do management of gestation hypertension based upon these two degrees. So admission to the hospital, hypertension, do not routinely admit to the hospital. And severe hypertension, admit if PP falls below 160 by 110, then manage as for hypertension. Okay, antihypertensive for all pharmacological treatment, offer pharmacological treatment if PP remains above 140 by 90 in case of the hypertension. And in case of severe hypertension, offer pharmacological treatment to all women. Target blood pressure once on the antihypertensive treatment. We have to aim for the BP of the 135 by 85 for less. And in case of the severe hypertension, we have to aim for the BP of 135 by 85 for less. Okay, and blood pressure measurement uh, once or twice depending upon uh, PP until the PP is 135 by 85 for less. And in case of the severe hypertension, we check it after every 15 to 30 minutes unless the BP is less than 160 by 110. Dipstick once or twice a week with the BP measurement and uh, in case of severe hypertension, daily while admitted. Blood pressure. Okay, we uh, blood test, we uh, may the for blood count, liver function test, renal function test, presentation, then weekly, and the same thing like my year for blood count, liver function test, renal function test, presentation, then weekly. Then, um, then PIGF, placental based, placental growth factor based testing on one occasion, and in case of the severe hypertension, the same thing, placental growth factor based testing on one occasion, in accordance with the NICE guideline. Now, fetal assessment offer fetal heart auscultation at every antenatal appointment and carry out ultrasound of the fetus at diagnosis, and if normal, repeat after every two to four weeks if clinically indicated, carry out CTG only if clinically indicated, and the same thing uh, would be applied in case of the severe hypertension. Okay, now. Um, Use an automated region strip uh, device for the dipstick screening for the proteinuria in secondary care setting. Offer placental growth factor based testing to help to root out the preeclampsia in women presenting with a suspected preeclampsia, for example, with the gestation hypertension between the 20 weeks and up to 35 weeks of pregnancy. Okay, and consider lapidolol to uh, treat gestation hypertension and 
consider nephrity pain for women in whom labetalol is not suitable and methyl dopa if the labetalol or nephrity both are not suitable and base the choice on the side effect profile risk factors and the woman preferences do not offer bad tests in the hospital as a treatment for gestational hypertension okay and another important point we have discussed all the important point relating to gestation hypertension so basically uh, in this video clip we have discussed the assessment and treatment of gestational hypertension the few important point in a tabular form uh, to make it easily understandable we have done it okay thank you so much for kind listening and in the next videos we will discuss and cover few more points related to the